My name is Hama Mubashra. I am an IoT Specialist Solutions Architect at AWS. Today in this video, I will show you how to build an event monitoring system using AWS IoT Event. So AWS IoT Events is a managed service that lets you monitor your fleet of devices for any failures or changes in their operation and trigger actions when such events occur. For this video, I will be showing a step-by-step -step instruction on how to build a detector model with AWS IoT events, and for that, I will follow a particular example from an AWS workshop, which is available publicly. The link to the workshop is in the description of the video below, and here is the QR code for you to access the workshop. So here is the workshop studio, where you would find this particular example on how to build a restroom usage monitoring system with AWS IoT events and set a threshold limit to trigger notification to the cleaning staff. For this example, I've also built this small hardware, which consists of an ESP8266 port connected to an ultrasonic distance sensor. This sensor is acting as the usage monitoring sensor in the restroom. It captures an event whenever a hand is faved in front of it and the distance between the hand and the sensor is less than 20 centimeters. It is captured as a usage and then sent back as an input to AWS IoT events. The other part of the hardware is the RFID tag sensor, this is used to update the status of the restroom as clean once the cleaning has been performed. And this is done once the cleaner taps their RFID card in front of the sensor. Now let's see how I built this using AWS services. This is the high level architecture. And as you can see on the left hand side, it has the ultrasonic distance sensor, which is connected to the microcontroller device. And it sends the data over MQTT into AWS IoT core. The AWS IoT Core has an IoT rules engine, which forwards the messages to AWS IoT events. Within AWS IoT events, I've created a detector model, which maintains a counter for the usage of the restroom. And every time it receives a message from the restroom sensor, it increments the value of the counter. The detector model also has a defined limit after which the status of the restroom will be set to unclean and alert will be sent out to the cleaning staff using Amazon Simple Notification Service. Now on the other side, once the cleaner has received the alert and they go to the restroom to perform the cleaning, once they're done with the cleaning, they will update the status using their RFID card. And this is captured by the RFID tag sensor and sent back to AWS IoT Core. From there, it again goes to AWS IoT events and the status of the toilet is set back to clean. So I'm now logged into the AWS IoT Core console and under the things, you can see that I have created the RFID sensor and the ultrasonic sensor as IoT things. And then within the IoT rules engine, I have created one rule against each type of sensor so that they both can send the data to IoT events. Now, if I go to IoT events, I already have a restroom monitoring detector model created. Just to show you how this is created. So this detector model maintains a state machine for each of the restrooms so they can transition between the clean and the unclean state depending on the input it receives from the sensors. For the inputs, I've created two inputs, one for the RFID tag sensor and the other one is for the ultrasonic distance sensor. These inputs were created at the time of configuring the rules within the IoT rules engine so that the data can be passed from the sensors into the detector model. I can specify which attributes the input can capture from the data that is being sent from the sensors. For the ultrasonic sensor, I use this simple JSON format to pick up attributes like time, ID, distance, and status. And similarly, for the RFID tag sensor, I used this JSON format to pick up attributes of time, st staff name, status, ID, and tag. So going now, Back to the detector model, if I click on the clean state, I can see multiple states within it where I can define actions. So the first state is the on enter state where I have created a usage counter variable and set the value to zero. And for the other action, I have created another variable with the name restroom ID that picks up the value from the ID attribute coming from the restroom sensor. So every time the restroom enters the clean state, it will perform these actions. Now, once it receives the input, 
this is the other event that I've created. This is the event condition where the current input is from the restroom sensor and the restroom sensor time attribute is greater than 1000. Here I have to find the operation to increment the variable usage counter every time an input is received from the restroom sensor. So every time there is a usage captured from the sensor and sent back to the IoT rules engine, from there it is sent to detector model and the value of the usage counter gets incremented. Here you can see the name of the SNS topic and I have defined a custom payload to specify which restroom requires cleaning to the cleaning staff. Now if I go to the simple notification service, you can see I have a topic already created with the name send alert to the cleaner and this is the topic that would send an email or SMS alert to the cleaning staff. So for the subscriptions, I have subscribed myself for email and SMS to receive notification alerts. So this shows how you can alert the cleaning staff once the restroom has had enough uses and it requires cleaning. Now going back to the IoT events detector model, So once the cleaning staff has performed the cleaning, they can update the status of the restroom to clean by tapping their card to the RFID tag sensor. The sensor then sends data back to the detector model and it transitions from the unclean state to the clean state. The transition logic here is of three conditions. So the first is that the current input should be equal to the RFID input and the ID attribute from the RFID input should match the value of the variable restroom ID whose value was set previously to the ID attribute from the ultrasonic sensor. This is to ensure that the value matches to the same restroom that triggered the alert. And lastly, the status attribute of the RFID input should be equal to clean. So now it's time for me to show you the demo and show you how this detector model responds to different events happening at the hardware level. So I'm logged into the AWS IoT Core console and the two sensors are sending their messages through basic ingest topics to AWS IoT Core. The IoT rules engine within AWS IoT Core forwards those messages to AWS IoT events. For the purpose of this video, I'm republishing the messages from the sensors to these debug topics to show you the message format I received from both the sensors. So just to show you the messages I received from these sensors, I'm going to move an object in front of the ultrasonic sensor. So you can see I've received time, ID, distance, and status from the ultrasonic sensor. Now with the RFID tag sensor, this is the message I've received from the RFID sensor. You can see I have these rules configured for each type of sensor and, and the sensors are sending messages over these basic ingest topics and I've configured two actions, one to republish the messages back to AWS IoT Core debug topics and to forward these messages to IoT events. Now going back to the detector model within AWS IoT events. So you can see that by moving my hand in front of the ultrasonic sensor, the IoT events has created a detector model for the restroom which I named as the first floor restroom 1A. And it has also incremented the usage counter from 0 to 1. Now if I keep moving my hand in front of the ultrasonic sensor until it has reached a value equal or greater than 5, then it will move to the unclean state. As you can see, the usage counter value is now 6 and the state of the restroom has changed to unclean state. Now I will use my RFID tag to update the status of the restroom. So the usage counter is now reset to 0 and the state of the restroom is changed to clean state. And this is the SMS that I received when the detector model changed its state from clean to unclean state to notify the cleaner the restroom has had enough uses and requires cleaning. So with that, we are towards the end of the video. Let's do a quick summary. 
You saw both the sensors send data over basic ingest topics to AWS IoT Core, which had rules configured within the IoT rules engine to forward the messages from the sensors to AWS IoT events. Within the AWS IoT events, we created a detector model for monitoring the usage of the restroom. The detector model had a usage counter, which incremented every time it received a message from the restroom sensor. And upon reaching the limit of greater than five uses, it triggered a notification alert through Amazon Simple Notification Service to the cleaner to clean the restroom. Then you saw how I updated the status of the restroom by tapping my tag in front of the RFID sensor and the detector model transitioned from the unclean to the clean state again. So similarly, you can use AWS IoT events to build detector models to ingest data from multiple sources to detect the state of your devices. And you can also build custom rules and event logic with simple if-else statements to identify critical events. So you can use it to monitor your fleet of devices for any failures or changes in their operation and take remedial actions. So that's it from me today, and I hope you enjoyed the demo. Thank you for watching this video.